Hi guys, welcome back. Okay, so as you guys saw from the title, I am playing around in this ColourPop Stone Cold Fox palette. Now, I would say this is a brand new palette or their latest palette, but we all know ColourPop has come out with at least 10 palettes since this one dropped. Now, this is a very large 30 pan palette. The shade names and information are on the back of the palette, and this is what the palette looks like. Very cool tone, kind of has like a monochromatic feel to it, a lot of grays, a little bit of kind of like dusty rose tones in here, but there are some really surprising shades, okay? Now, as you can see from the swatches here, the shimmers are beautiful. They're kind of like, as ColourPop would say, like glimmery metallics, if you will. Very, very pretty, very surprising. I didn't swatch the whole palette because it is a 30 pan palette and a lot of the shades look very similar, but I did go ahead and swatch all of the shimmers as well as mattes that I felt would tell pretty much the story of this palette. So very, very pretty. So this is the look for today, you guys. If you wanna see how I did it, let's jump right in. Okay, so I am prepping my lid with my P. Louise base, as usual. I really need to try a new base, you guys, but <laughs> when it ain't broke, <laughs> no need to fix it, right? So yeah, just prepping my lids, making sure I have a nice, even base for this eye look. And you guys, I had no idea what I was gonna do. I just started pulling shades. So the first shade I'm going into is Ghost Town. It's just kind of like a really, really soft, muted, kind of gray toned, I don't know, dusty rose type shade, but I'm just using that as my upper transition. Next, I'm going into the shade Obsidian. Very, very pretty. It's a little bit darker than the first shadow. It has just a hint of that kind of like taupey, um, what do you want to say? Like dusty rose, taupey type shade to it. Just a little bit darker than the first one. So I'm just building it up. You guys know I want to get like a nice gradient in my crease area for this look. So just taking a fluffy brush and blowing that out in my crease. And this is what we have so far. So I wanna deepen it up. Of course, I'm going into the black in the palette, which is rock bottom. I was really curious to see how this would perform on my eyes. I don't know why, because all ColourPop shadows pretty much perform the same to me. <laughs> but this one, um, it worked out just fine. I actually really like it because it is nicely pigmented, but it's buildable. You know, it's not one of those blacks where you're kind of scared to go crazy with it, you know. It, it's buildable. Now I'm going back in with Obsidian just to kind of blend out the edge of that black. Make sure that I still have a nice gradient look for this crease. I'm also creating the shape for this eye look. As you can see, I'm dragging it out because I knew I wanted to do a cut crease. You know, I gotta do something creative with this. <laughs> kind of like cool tone neutral palette. So I'm going in with some of my cut crease canvas. This is the shade Halo from Revolution. It's just a white cut crease canvas base. I didn't clean off my lid. I didn't feel it was really necessary for this look because I'm doing so much of a gradient and my crease is nice and dark. So I just tapped some of that down on my lid. Next, I'm going into this gray. I had to go into the gray, which is called Rumor Mill. I don't know, I love the color gray, but I just feel like it doesn't really look that great on me. But I used that for the outer portion of the cut crease. Now I'm going back into rock bottom, that black, tapping that right next to the gray, taking my time to just gently blend those two shades together. But I wanted it nice and dark right on the outer portion of my lid. I'm also leaving a little bit of a negative space as you can see here just to create a slight double cut crease. Next I'm going into this beautiful shade Play It Cole. Play It Cole. <laughs> 
and yeah I wanted to add that little bit of that dusty rose shade in there just so you guys can see that this palette does have a little bit of variety to it you know it's not just your basic neutral palette that shade does have a little bit of that sequins in it that tiny glitter particles next I'm going into mystery and I'm just spraying my brush a bit tapping that on the first portion of my lid just to have a nice shimmer there and very very pretty very very pretty shade so I'm just cleaning up a bit trying to create that nice kind of winged out look for you know this cut crease that I did and this is what we have so I'm going back into that gray rumor mill and I decided to just tap a little bit of that right right on my upper lash line I don't know why I just wanted a little bit more of that gray to create a bit more of a gradient on my lid and I really like how it looks so I finished up my complexion off camera and put on a little bit of an ombre lip so now let's move to the lower lash line I'm taking a black pencil and just using that to add a little bit of depth on my lower lash line now I'm going back into the shade Obsidian and just using that to smoke out my lower lash line as well. I really wanted to keep it simple. I didn't want to do a whole bunch of colors. So I felt like this color would tie everything together. Now for my inner corner pop, I'm going into this beautiful silver shade, which is in the palette called Magnetic Moon. Magnetic Moon. And I'm just using a small angled brush to tap that in my inner corner. Now the lashes that I used for this look are from Beauty Creations. They're kind of flirty, kind of fluffy. They're a 3D silk lash and I feel like they went really well with this winged out look. So hopefully you guys enjoyed watching me create this look using the Stone Cold Fox palette. You know these palettes kind of scare me because they can be a little bit boring but I feel like I added a little bit of adventure to this eye look. So. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to hit that like and I will see you on my next video. Toodles!